but as I got into that next stage of the business is when I, I definitely got into those gut punches, you know, where things like you get a bunch of magnets that don't have the right coding or, oh, and yeah. suddenly you're just like, oh my God, I just have 2000 units I can't sell. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we've, we've talked about that many times. Like uh, yeah. episode yeah. nine was, I just got 2000 units and all but one are good. What do you do? Yeah. How, how did you handle those moments? I mean, certainly not with as much grace as you would today, knowing what you mm. know now, but as a new inventor who maybe does order something and they get hosed on an order, what advice would you give them? Mm. I mean, <clears throat> the most important thing is don't feel like that's the end because it's definitely not. Um, there's always like, I don't know, in a weird way you can, you, you can take, extract some value from any of those circumstances, either whether, you know, you, you get an agent then who's overseeing your production in China or wherever it's being done, making sure the quality control, those are all the, the lessons that are taken in this process, right? So I think oftentimes we take those hits as like, oh, you see, I can't do, you, you know, I'm really not, I have that imposter system in syndrome thing. And I'm like, uh, I really don't belong here and see, this is proof that I, I was screwing up and who am I kidding? And yeah, but the fact is, is that <clears throat> you can't stop when you hit your first hurdle, uh, because that's the, in fact, that's a, the opportunity that's hidden in the challenge. And so you have to stay on a, a mindset of like, what can I take from this experience at, at, the, at this point now? What can I, I've, I've just lost like, you know, 2000 units okay, I'm going to change this. And you can't just sit there and mull over it, you know, and feel bad for yourself. You have to like immediately act on it and say, okay, I'm going to change this now. I can get this quality control in place. And then I'm going to have to figure out how I can, you know, th there's the fact is there's no problem you can't solve. Right. But it's only you who, who says to yourself, oh, now I can't do this. And as soon as you say that, then you've, that's it. You know, you've given yeah. up. 